Hi, welcome to Benzer College. In chapter 9.2, we'll be learning about circles and just to summarize the lesson objectives, the first objective will be to recognize the equation of the circle and find the center of the and the radius of the circle based on these two equations that you see over here. Okay, I will explain further in the next slide. The next objective is to find the intersection of a circle and a straight line. Okay, so and how do we do this? We will equate or solve simultaneously to find this point of intersection. So how do we interpret the two formulas that you saw just now on the previous slide? So in the first formula, okay, let me just give a give an example. So if let's say I have x minus 2 square plus y minus 3 square equals to 5 square, then from the given equation, okay, the given formula, I will identify my a to be 2, my b to be 3, and my r to be 5. Okay, so therefore the center, okay, based on the, the formula you see over here, the center will just be 2 comma 3, and the radius will just be 5. Okay, the first formula is generally easier to understand. The second formula will be slightly more complicated. Okay, so let me give you a, a tangible example. So let's say I have an equation that looks like this. Okay, from this equation, I can identify my g to be 4. So g is 4, and I can identify my f to be 5, and I can identify my C to be 16. Okay, so therefore, therefore my center is just negative G and negative F, so that gives me negative 4 and negative 5. Okay, as for the radius, I need to solve a simple equation. So C is given to be G squared plus F squared minus R squared. Shifting r to the left and c to the right, I'll get r square equals to g square plus f square minus c. Okay, and since g is just 4 and f is just 5 and c is 16, working this out, I'll get my r square to be 25, which is 5 square. Okay, therefore, my radius is r, which is just 5. Okay, so don't 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 worry so much about the two formulas first. I will leave it at the top left hand corner of the screen while we look at more tangible examples. Okay, so in example number one, we are asked to draw the graph of x minus of this equation. Okay, that's given over here. So the first thing we want to do is to realize that this given equation is in the form of formula number one. Okay, formula number one you can see over here. Okay, so let's just identify our A, which is 2. Our B, okay, be very careful about this. B is negative 2, okay, because this is Y minus minus 2. Okay, so B is negative 2. And my R is 4. Why is that so? Because 16 should be r square okay and we all know that 16 is 4 square so therefore r is just 4 okay so after identifying our parameters let me just write down the center the center would then be a comma b which is 2 comma negative 2 and the radius is just r which is 4 okay so therefore i'm looking at a, a circle with center 2 comma negative 2 and radius 4 okay so what does it look like so basically, it looks like this. So at this point over here, this is my center of the circle, which is 2 comma negative 2. And the radius is 4. So meaning to say from this point, from this middle of the circle, if I were to draw any line okay, to touch a point on the circle, this distance will be my radius, which is just 4. Okay, okay let's move on to another similar example. So we are asked to draw this graph. Okay, and similarly, we're, we're going to identify my A, my B, and my R. Okay, so A is negative 3. Why is that so? Because this equation can be expressed in the form X minus minus 3 square plus Y minus 4 square equals to 4, which is 2 square. 
Okay, so A is negative 3, B is 4, and R is just 2. Okay, because R square is 2 square, so R is just 2. Okay, so the center of the circle is just negative 3, 4, and my radius is just 2. Okay, so we start by plotting the center. So the center of the circle is over here, which is negative 3, 4, and the radius, which is the distance between the center to any point on the circle, should just be 2. Okay, so that's my radius. Okay. Let's move on to example number three. Okay, so now we're gonna do the reverse. Okay, now we are given the center of the circle as well as the radius, and we will write down the equation of the circle. So take note that I'll be making use of equate of formula number one. Okay, formula number one, as you can see over here. So let's just fill in. Okay, let's just identify our parameters first. So in this case, my a is negative two, my b is zero. Why? Because the center is in the form a comma b. Okay, and the radius, okay, my r is 3. So we're just going to fill in these three parameters into this formula. So for the first example, let me just write out the formula over here so you can see clearer. Okay, so since a is negative 2, x minus minus 2 plus b is 0 and r is 3. Okay, so simplifying this, I'll get x plus 2 square plus y square equals to 9. Okay, and that's my answer for example A. Okay, how about the next one? Let us identify our A and B. Okay, so realize that A is 0 in this case, B is 1, and R is 4. Okay, so similarly, I will substitute that into the formula. So let me just write out the formula so it looks clearer. Okay, so since a is 0, this is x minus 0 square. y, sorry, b is 1, so this is y minus 1 square, and r is 4. Okay, simplifying this, I will just get this. Okay, and I'm done. Okay, I hope you enjoyed these few examples. Please see the next video for a few more examples.